So today I find myself in a position as I'm sure a lot of you are in. We will be doing distant learning at our house, so I need some solid desks for the kids to learn at, but I don't wanna spend a fortune because I don't know how long this is gonna last. And when the kids go back to school, my downstairs family room will not continue to be a classroom. It will go back to the fun family room it was. So today I'll be building three desks out of one sheet of plywood. I'll be using a miter saw and I will be using a band saw, but you can totally use a jigsaw for this project. Let's get started. Here's the cut list you can use to have the hardware store cut down the plywood for you. This will give you straight lines without needing a table saw at home. I have a table saw and I still got this cut down just because it was way easier than having to deal with a full sheet of plywood at home by myself. And here's a drawing just to show you what you're going to cut out of each piece, just to give you a better idea going forward. I started by cutting the three 16 inch boards. Each board will make two legs. I cut mine at 22 and a half inches. I already had chairs, so I made the desks to fit them. You can always make your desks taller. I will link the chairs below, but please know that I use them because I already had them. I would recommend them. They're very high quality. However, they are rather expensive. So just be warned of that. Once I had the height and width cut, for the legs, it was time to create a design. So at this point, just get creative. This build is totally affordable. I was able to build these three desks from only one sheet of plywood. The only thing I had to watch for when using plywood was tear out on the edges. To help, I made slower cuts and I tried to cut only part ways through the wood, then cut all the way through next. Just giving those fibers something to be supported by as I cut through the top. Some tear out is inevitable. So I tried to make sure I had one non-chip side on each board. That way I could face the nicer side out and have the inside facing one have some of the little chip marks. To cut out the leg pattern, you'll need a jigsaw. I'll be using a bandsaw for part of it since I have one. You probably see I originally tried to curve my pattern a bit. However, that proved just to be too hard, so I changed my design a bit. These desks were inspired by CNC plans. You can Google them and find a lot of ideas. People make rocking chairs and even lamps out of plywood that are pretty cool. Most of these plans can be built using a miter saw and jigsaw. These desks are sized for a six to 10 year old, so a perfect elementary school desk. Once I had the outer cuts done, I traced it onto the other boards and cut them the same. That way all the legs will match. Cutting the inner area was a little tricky. I clamped the two legs together and used a sacrifice scrap board behind it. That scrap board will just help prevent the tear out, especially when drilling through. I started by drilling a few holes just to allow room for the jigsaw blade. Then I cut as straight a lines as I could. Honestly, I'm sure you guys can do better than me here. It got the job done, but my lines weren't as straight as I'd like. I'm definitely not a pro with a jigsaw. I clamped the two legs together so that they would end up being a mirrored image of each other. It also saved me a lot of time. Rather than doing six cuts for each leg, I only had to do three. There was a lot of rotating, reclamping, drilling, and changing angles to get this inner area cut. I want to warn you of this before you create too detailed of a design for your legs. 
The nice thing about this design is how solid it is. The sides are made out of one piece, and even though I cut some designs out, it is still a full panel, which prevents rocking. The front support runs almost halfway down the desk, which gives it a lot of lateral strength. The arc in it provides design and space for the legs to move freely. This was my first plywood project, and I have to say, it's gone a lot more smoothly than I expected. I was also skeptical of how it would look, but I'm actually really happy with them. I may try a few more of these projects. The best thing about this project is I got three affordable desks made in one day that were solid and were gonna hold up. If you had your plywood cut like I showed in the beginning, you can skip this step. Since I wasn't quite sure how my plans were gonna turn out, I didn't have the hardware store cut down my plywood further. So here I am cutting two sections, 18 inches each, for the tabletops. I used painter's tape to help prevent some tear out. Next, I took the two 18 inch boards and cut them in half, making them 18 inches by 24 inches, which is the size I wanted for the tops. I only needed three tops, so the fourth one I will set aside and use for braces on the desk. If you like this project, please subscribe so you don't miss out on future builds. I wanted to show you how well using the tape went. No tear out on the top, and minimal on the bottom. For the front braces, I cut three boards, nine inches, by 20 inches. Then I used a round template I had on hand to draw a curve. I've also been known to use a garbage can lid or a bucket to get this shape. So just find something around your shop that matches. Then use the jigsaw or bandsaw to cut them out. Since I bought sanded plywood, I didn't spend too long sanding. I did get all the rough edges and used it to straighten out some of my wonky cuts. I made sure to smooth out all areas where there was tear out. This will prevent any kids from getting splinters. On to the assembly. I started with the legs and front brace. I used lots of wood glue. Oops, glued the wrong side there. I clamped the leg in place. Then I pre-drilled and put in one and five eighth inch screws. If you want a cleaner look, you could recess your screws and fill the hole with a plug. Using a wet rag, I made sure to clean up the glue squeeze out. I realized I never showed me cutting the notch in the top of the legs or the top brace. When the legs were clamped together, I cut a two and a half inch long by three quarter inch deep cut. Then I cut three support braces, two inches by 20 inches long. I use wood glue Then pre-drill for the screws. I used a larger screw bit to make a hole to recess the screw. That way the top will sit flush. To attach the top, I put down towels so I didn't scratch it. I brought over the base and got it lined up just where I wanted it. And then I marked the back two legs flipped it up and applied a lot of wood glue. Then 
Using the marks I made, I lined it up on the top. I pre-drilled and screwed the top on with one and a quarter inch screws. If you want a more solid hold, you can use pocket holes on the front support. Luckily, our downstairs is in the middle of a remodel, so it will be our temporary classroom. We are repurposing an old chalkboard I made. I also bought a decor party pack to add some fun and color to the room. When we aren't using the desks, I will push them up against the wall just to get them out of the way so we have the downstairs to use. All right, 2020 to 21 school year, we're ready. Let's do this. Because of time constraints, I didn't put a finish on these desks. Paint and stain would really change the look of them. However, I don't know if I'll get to that. I will at least put on some poly or epoxy on the tops to protect them.